once every four years, or actually once every couple of years, the Netherlands is painted orange, and I always call it, at those moments, the color of hope, because it's orange, and it's orange in support of the men's football team. So far as I know, um, the country doesn't get this crazy when the ladies team enters either the World Cup finals or European Cup finals. This seems to happen for the men's team. And uh, when I, way, way back when I came here, I came here the year after the Netherlands had won, um, I think, the European Cup. And people would tell me about how incredible it was to be in Amsterdam during that moment because people were on the boat, canal boats, the streets were filled with supporters and everybody was so incredibly in love with this team that had done something spectacular. And so since then, it's as if every time the World Cup or the European Cup comes around, people really wish to recreate that feeling of, of wonder, of having won, having conquered all the other teams and being declared the greatest team in either Europe or the world. Now, I've seen this come and go. I see the country turn orange, and it really gets... I don't know how this is in other countries. Um, I never noticed this in England, but I guess uh, England didn't do very well in a lot of these major sports, so they didn't get that crazy. And everything, I mean, orange everywhere. Orange, the beer sticks some orange on there. Orange put this way and that way and all over the place. And more and more I feel that, uh, quite unfortunately, and remember I am an outsider, it does feel like this whole commercial shtick where you are being encouraged to spend your money supporting something that, yeah, I mean, your life won't change if the, uh, the average person's life will not change if the Netherlands or any other country wins or loses the World Cup, unless, of course, you've bet your house on it or huge amounts of stuff. So anyway, this was taken, this one, this particular image comes from, wow, I have a feeling it's as far back as 2006, though I could be wrong. I think it was around that time. I can't tell you what it was, whether it was the World Cup or European Cup, but I was just cycling. And I just saw this street and it was completely orange. And uh, I thought as I passed that, oh, how long is this going to be up? Because once they get kicked out, or if you lose, then all this orange has to come down. It's very painful. I do remember there was a uh, case in 2010 when the Netherlands got to the finals of the World Cup. I think it was in South Africa. And on that day, we hadn't been in the country so we were coming in by train during the final and I'd never seen uh, the countryside or the roads and everything so incredibly empty at that time of the day. It, the only other time I saw this was during the COVID shutdown and unfortunately they lost the final. I mean somebody has to win, somebody has to lose. It is a game. However, there were these enormous preparations for this party assuming that, uh, presuming that the Dutch team would win and they didn't win and so you've got all this stuff set up and they still had a party and their people till this day they find it quite odd and i'm included in them to have such a massive party for the ones who lost the final i know i get it that it's i mean to get there is really something else you can't just get to the final and it is an achievement but to have a party of that size for the team that lost was very odd and then later you'd hear that how all these people had invested huge amounts of money in you know a special kind of beer or a special this and that um, i believe when the players returned to the netherlands they circled above amsterdam in the plane and we we're all meant to wave and i kept feeling yeah but they lost why are you doing this and people pointed out it's money it's money because it, uh, so much had been invested in these great parties and all that and then sometime later i think the ladies team it might not have been the football team but they won something and there was barely a, a squeak. Nobody said anything. One or two people said, hey, wait a second, these ladies won and there's no celebration and these guys lost and you're you know, treating it as if it's the best thing ever. Thankfully, times have changed. And now there is, um, I remember you have this tower in Amsterdam that changes color. So if the Netherlands, the Dutch team is playing, it 
gets orange lights on and if the local team Ajax is playing you have red and white and about a month ago I was walking and I saw it red and white and I thought oh that's funny I didn't know Ajax was playing and it was for the Ajax women's team and so that's kind of cool that things have changed. The last note I will say about all this orange is that you do I mean if you're here you know it I often wonder where is all this stuff made? All of this stuff made to support your nation, where is it actually made? Where does it come from? I'm quite sure it's somewhere to the east of here, far to the east of here, but who knows. Anyway, one day maybe I will be uh, still alive and kicking when the Netherlands wins because I really want to experience that street party. I've had it once with Ajax, but that's, that's sort of local. So I would like to see it, uh, you know, the, the orange uh, be rewarded, all, this, all these ribbons of orange be rewarded with a victory sometime, who knows.